Welcome to Complete Games with me, James. Hope you're doing well. And uh, I'm sorry I've not been able to get uh, a video out this week, but uh, I have been doing a lot of work trying to get together our T-Rex army. And uh, that involves a lot of breeding. But um, let's go over what, what we've been up to over the last week. So in today's video, I'm going to explain a little bit about what I know about breeding. And we're going to start over here with what I've been doing with the Allosauruses. Now, this is a perfect example of how not to do breeding and imprinting. Um, as you can see, I had one decent female. She had 5,000 health, 420 on the melee damage. And I think the other male that I bred her with, I think it was only a 120. And I wasn't interested in any of the stats. We bred them two together until we got a dinosaur that had the female's health and melee and it got a mutation on the melee so we kept that male and we kept breeding until we got another mutation and then it ended up in weight so this dino here has one weight and one melee mutation everything's going well this is where the third mutation came in and it came in and it ended up being a girl instead of a male this time and as you'll see even though we got the three points it didn't get the uh, it didn't get the weight mutation so three pence three points have been spent on making this dinosaur to only have two of the random mutations register within it so now we'll take this egg here ah oh, here's another case this is one step further it's got two weight one melee and one health and the points did register on this dino so we could swap that female for this one but i kind of like the yellow now I'm just going to put this egg down and we'll see what sort of levels are going to be hatching out. Now, bearing in mind that these Allosauruses are to do the artifact of the strong. They're not going to be to take on a boss. So they're going to be good enough for what we need. But when you go about breeding a super army, this is how you go about doing it. Now, these five Rexes here, this has taken me my whole playthrough. It's been, what? three and a half months now since we started and this is everything that we've managed to get and this one here was a 145 I think the rest of them are 150s we've got easy here and um, she's not going to be used at all that was the first dino we tamed up or the first t-rex um, red here he's the, one of the more recent ones I got him a couple of weeks back and he has the best health and up until I caught him I was actually thinking that this 140 here was going to be the one that was going to be using for the health um, next we've named this one best stamina because I did need a female as a catalyst as well so we're going to use her stamina and we're going to get to best melee now this is the dino that i've been using to catch the other dinos and i've been pumping levels on it and we can't pay any attention to these levels they mean nothing we've got to go back to when we originally caught this and look at the levels that we got when we originally caught it and it tamed out with a melee damage of 434 percent so that's higher than any of the others so we're going to be using this dinosaur as our best melee damage and what we've got to do is we've got to make some dinosaurs that combine all of their stats. So we've this is this is the next stage. What we've done is we've bred the best melee and the best stamina. So we just come back over here so if I go too quick. But this male with the best melee we bred with the best stamina female. Okay, so these two. And quite a few eggs later, we ended up with these three now we've got a we've got a male we've got a male here that has the um the uh, best stamina and melee 
stat that we needed. Um, but we haven't actually used him because red is um, also a male. And what we needed was some females. So we've got two here. So we got the stamina and the melee. So these two then had to get bred back with red, which is our best health T-Rex. Um, just over the back here. And he had the health of eight and a half thousand. And this is what we ended up with our perfect T-Rexes. Now I've got four because we had two females. So we ended up getting double the amount of eggs. And this is how it's worked out. So we've got perfect Rex male here. He's the only male, has the everything that we need. Uh, but pay close attention, the oxygen, the food, and the weight are all the same as well on this male as they are on the female. So this makes things a lot easier when it comes to noticing where the mutations are going. So I'm going to use these two. Now, the other two ended up getting some of the father's traits and obviously the red color. And we could use them, no problem, but I haven't got a red male. So, and as you can see, the food and the weight is different. So we could put these in here. We could breed that one male with these three females. It's just going to mean that any of the babies that come out, they're all going to have sort of different food, oxygen and weight stats. And it just makes the numbers a little bit difficult. At least if we breed these two together, we'll know that our mutation is going to be at 240. So anything that hatches at 240. And also if it ends up being like an oxygen stat we can uh, we can see that quite easily or any of the other stats uh, over here yeah just want to show you quite quick I've um, built some vaults because I am stockpiling the hide and I'm not running any mods on this server so without a stack mod this is going to be quite quite difficult so um, I know that the Rex saddles I haven't even found a blueprint so I don't know how much they are but if I can find even a Mastercraft um, uh, Rex saddle I'm going to need them and I'm going to need a lot of hide and without stack mods um, I'm not going to be able to do that without having a few vaults so I've just shoved them at the back and um, yeah I'm just filling them up as I go so um, they have added this. We don't need to allow um, enable wandering anymore. They just enable mating. So that's um, that was an update that was most welcome. So you don't need the mating posts, and they're not going to wander off anywhere. So we're going to breed these two, and um, hopefully find out what our uh, first mutation is going to be. Really, we want to try and go for a health or a melee mutation. I think I really would like to stack the health mutations on them. Okay, so, and as we can see over here, the uh, Allosaurus egg has hatched. Now, I'm pretty much done with the Allosaurus. I'll keep going just for now, just in case we can get some more mutations. But as you can see, doing it the wrong way, again, that point in weight hasn't registered. But now, we've got three random mutations on the mum's side and, and two on the father's side. And that's five points there once they get to 20 on both sides we can't use anymore so this is the wrong way to do things and anytime you see anything any dino with more than 20 mutations in one side um, they can't gather they can't get any more so now there is an exploit you can you can do um, to carry on stacking mutations indefinitely uh, on one side but one of one of them sides has to be uh, not at 20 in order to do that and uh, we don't need to take our mutations up to like a thousand health mutations in order to beat the boss um, this is a, an exercise in trying to beat the game and not trying to do some sort of alpha tribe um, super dino um, although the dinos we do get will be super dinos. So yeah, um, they're not much good to us these guys, but um, hey, watch it easy. Could have eaten me. So yeah, unfortunately these um, these T-Rexes here, all of these are going to have to go. Um, now we've managed to get our perfect Rexes and all of that work. Yeah, it's kind of a little bit sad, but yeah, we're going to have to clean up. Okay, so we're back and these uh, Rex eggs are about to hatch. Um, we've just sort of done over half a dozen. And uh, I doubt very much we're going to get a mutation that we want straight away. But what we're looking out for is a level 240. 
and uh, it will get two points if it gets a mutation so we know it's going to hatch at 240 if it gets the two points and it could also have a color like this one here and you can see that um, it's got the mutation by the color um, but let's just take a second to go over colors as well now a t-rex only has four regions where the color can show up if the roulette wheel spins and it lands on like region two or three it won't register the color but it will register the mutation also the mutation could happen with the same color or one of the original colors and then you may not see that it had a color mutation but every time there is a mutation on a stat there is also a mutation on its color and it may not always be apparent that you see that because it could hit one of the regions where it doesn't show up or like I say it could be a similar color or the same anyway we know that one at the back 240 there is definitely got a mutation of some sort because it has got the color as well as the points you can see so let's see what uh, let's see what we get yeah it looks like we've got one on the food there so at 129 now this is another good reason why it was good just to breed them two together because you can see everybody else is one two three if we had the red dinosaurs in amongst the mix We'd have different food numbers and we'd just have to be thinking a little bit harder where them points went. But it's pretty easy to see with both dinosaurs being the same where where our points are going. And there we go, as we can see. Okay, so... Um, We've not had any mutations that we want to keep so far, so we've been doing that for a little while. Um, in fact, actually, it's been a couple of days I've been doing the uh, the breeding and mutating, but so far I haven't had a stat that, that we need. Um, so I figured, just to break things up a little bit, um, I'm going to take some stuff over to the cave of the strong. Uh, we're not going to do that cave today, but um, I just want to get perhaps into the first area of the room and... Uh, just lay down a place where we can uh, we can get these allosauruses bred up so let's see if we can just poke our heads in the first little bit of the cave and just see if we can set up something in the entrance okay so the cave is strong it's not too hard to find uh, you've probably seen it quite a few times because this area here is where I tend to find most of my high level dinos actually um, so I'm always scanning around here but yeah it's that little ice pack just in front of us there we can see the hole and you can see the blue obelisk there and behind us is the volcano but I always tend to find decent dinos that tend to fall in that ice there and I, I, I don't know the amount of times I've tamed something of, of a good level in this area We have disabled flying in cave, so I should get dismounted and it's and there we go. Cave just loaded in and we just drop some frames. So um, so if we just get inside the cave of the strong and you guys can see what I'm talking about and uh, why I'm gonna breed the Allosauruses. Now it, you could do this another way. Um, you you could do this with I reckon you could even maybe even do some high level dillos and let them all follow you in afterwards or something maybe that'd be fun um, but um, you, you, the reason I'm using the Allosaurus is, is because of the Parlovia um, they they can pull you off your dino and you don't want to get pulled off inside um, this cave so um, yeah I've just decided to use Allosaurus I think they'll be good for this cave so there's a the little crack that uh, we've got to get through and on the other side of that wall it is a lot of a lot of death <laughs> there's polar bears yetis wolves and uh, a lot of bad stuff so I just need to get my bed down and seriously if I forgot to put any beds or sleeping bags in um, oh, I have as well what does it take to make craft a bed I'm sure I'm just midding, missing the wood I probably need fiber um, where are we at bed just get some sleeping bags down put a few of these down for now just want to 
poke my head in the front of the cave here. So, alright. Be careful. So I say there's wolves, polar bears, yetis, all sorts of bad stuff in here. I can't see anything. Nothing's aggroed on me. And I can see a loot crate, but I can't see any bad guys. This is very strange. Um just wondering if everything's not spawned in. This is not looking good. Right. <laughs> um, okay, well, looks like the Cave of the Strong has not spawned in any enemies. And I don't know what... I don't really want to cheat it. Um, shall I just go and grab this loot crate? while I'm here. Um, I'm disappointed. I was expecting a big fight. Um, and this is... I don't know what that is in the water there. Um, the, sort of the plan was to grappling onto the ceiling here and I've got a lot of shotgun ammo. Um, and I was just going to try and get just into this front route. This bit here, really. Um, okay. Well, let's... I'll just grab this loot crate. Whatever it is, catch it. Um, <clears throat> right. Okay. I'm gonna go back out, and I'm, I'm gonna give it. Um, I'm gonna give it some time, I think, and uh, we'll come back in just see if anything uh, spawns in. Because usually, when this has happened in the past, um, it just takes a little bit of time for stuff to spawn back in. But looks like all the the only thing that's spawned in here is the saber tooth salmon. Okay, so I've literally given it um, nearly a couple of hours now and nothing seems to be spawning in in this front area and I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave the stuff here that I was going to build in the middle um, and I'll have to come back. I was never going to do this cave today anyway, um, but if the stuff gets destroyed it does, but hopefully we can get it fixed or hopefully it isn't broken. Um, but this is now the sort of second cave because the artifact of the Skylord that wasn't spawning in at all without um, without me going into spectator mode so maybe I'm going to have to do something similar on this cave to get stuff to spawn in I'm going to have to dig a little bit deeper um, but yeah I was just going to block an area off in here it would have been somewhere we could have sort of bred the Allosauruses in. And like I say, we could have done this with other dinos. I reckon a po and well, could have done this with a with a lot of different types, but just chose Allosauruses. And uh, yeah, they shouldn't be able to get in through a gap like that. So yeah, disappointing. Like I say, I I mean I bought loads of ammunition. I was expecting to have to sort of show you a trick really, well not a trick, but just by grappling onto the ceiling um, you can pretty much clear this first area out and um, they can't get you but yeah, um, that's that loot crate spawned over here so that'll be the third time a loot crate spawned back but no um, creatures have spawned in the cave itself so and I haven't ventured any further than this so um, I don't know whether the artifact is also not spawning or not. Well, we'll find out. Um, yeah, I haven't gone anything beyond here. can see that. Look at the size of that uh, saber tooth salmon down there. It's huge. It's as big as a. This <laughs> is big as a dolphin. <laughs> okay, so. Um, I'm just going to leave all the stuff in this box and we'll have to come back at another point. Um, it's a little bit disappointing. Like I say, I hope the artifact's spawning in. Um, and hopefully when we come back, um, 
we can get this fixed. But um, I've always considered the, art the artifact of the strong, this cave, to be probably the hardest cave, being that you can't bring a dino in. Um, and even with all my fur armor on now, I'm still taking damage just because of the cold in certain places. So, well, we'll get back home and we'll continue with some Rex breeding. Okay, so what we got here then? Um, so we got a mutation of some sort. Um, it's not on the food. What's it? One, two, three. Um, you always get a mutation in torpidity, every mutation, so we know we've definitely got one. But I can't see the difference between that. Ah, it's the oxygen. There we go. Yeah, so the original oxygen is uh, 675. And like I say, you always get a mutation in the torpidity as well when you get a mutation, so that's going to be a different number. So this one has gone off in the oxygen. And like you see, yeah, the torpidity is higher. Okay, some more. And again, we've got an oxygen mutation. Again, it's gone into the torpidity as well, so that's no good to us. And uh, we've not gotten any colours on these ones either. So and there's another 240. And this. Okay, so this is an example of where the mutation has gone into speed and we haven't got a colour either. So it's effectively the most useless mutation of them all. So nothing yet. But yeah, this, this one here is pretty much the worst mutation you can get. One in speed because you can't go past 100% when, they, when they're born. So yeah. Okay, so, um, yeah, um, I guess I've been doing this, well, since Saturday now. We're almost at a week, a week of breeding and uh, a week of gameplay that I've got to go through and edit. <laughs> um, but uh, here's where we are. We've got our first health mutation, and um, <clears throat> that means we've now swapped our dinosaur out. And um, we're certainly not getting rid of any of the perfect females uh, or male, but we've had to swap them out. And as you can see, so now we're breeding these two together and what we're hoping for is it would be a level 242. And that's all the time we've got for that episode of Complete the Arc. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so and uh, keep up with the Complete the Arc series. And like I say, the uh, Rex breeding, our super army, well, it's going to take a little bit of time. Um, so, but we have got a few things before we need to fight these bosses. We've still got three caves to do and um, I think we'll be concentrating one of them next week and hopefully um, I can get the um, artifact of the strong cave. I can, I'll have a look into that and, and see what I can do to fix that. Uh, I just, I don't know. We're, we're going to explore it anyway, but hopefully um, I can I can find a fix for it. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see ya.